What is going on guys, my name is Ron Becker and from Round Reviews here with another episode reaction to Bartender Glass of God, episode 8, a challenge. I am two days late to this. So, let me catch you up on some things. I am basically in incredible amounts of pain. If you don't know what it is, I'm currently dealing with sciatica. Sciatica is where basically one of your major nerves in your leg, and it can be in both legs, is being pinched right now. And when that happens, the entire leg is affected. And actually parts of your hips, where whatever side it's on, and if you're limping like I am, or basically hopping along, it affects your lower back as well because it puts a lot of strain on your lower back. So I had that hit on Wednesday, and I'm still in pain too right now. I'm currently on some painkillers. Uh, I've been going to the chiropractor to, because the chiropractor does help move uh, and move your muscles uh, and joints and pops them and basically relieves a lot of the tension. Uh, but basically, if I'm not working, which I have been working through pain because I, there's no one to basically take over my position if I leave because one of our guys is on vacation, um, I'm working through pain. I'm constantly having to sit down, stretch, and basically grit my teeth through the pain while I'm crying. Like right now, I'm in I'm sitting in this position where if I move my leg a certain way, I'm I'm okay. If I'm laying down a certain way, I'm okay. Uh but if I'm moving around, walking around, nine times out of ten, I my leg will go numb from the pain after 10 minutes. So basically I've been in an excruciating pain for the last two days. Uh I don't know what caused it. I actually had this exact issue about two two years ago. Um, and going to the chiropractor did help and doing a couple of uh, stretches. So basically right now I'm basically just going through it and hopefully in the next few days it'll go away after constantly just icing it, stretching the area. Uh, and that is very painful to do it. Uh, but yeah, so if I'm constantly moving, like adjusting my seat, that's the main reason why, um, because after a while, my leg will go numb if I'm sitting down in a certain way, even if I'm sitting for five, ten minutes. So we'll see. But yeah, back to the back to the topic on hand. Bartender glass of God. Also, I do apologize. I did. I took a shower and was laying down resting. I just got up after eating technically breakfast at like 1:46 in the afternoon right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, bartender glass of God episode eight, a challenge. I'm assuming this is going to be about the. Uh, bartenders who were trying to take on that competition. I'm assuming that's what this is going to be about. Uh, but yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode. I've actually been looking forward to this going forward. But yeah, so without further ado, let's jump into episode 8 of Bartender Glass of God. I want to knock this out as soon as possible so I can lay back down. But anyways, thank you guys so much and for waiting. And yeah, let's get into it. It's starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Oh, hire another bartender. Ooh, original cocktails. I would like to actually do some that. That's kind of cool, actually. So basically, kind of like a judge, but a, more of an observer, but judge to himself. It's kind of true. Now, 
there's this guy I follow on YouTube. You should actually check him out if you're like interested in cocktails. Um, those either beans. Those, I think those are beans. Sorry, but as I was saying, um, there's a guy on YouTube. If you want to check him out, if you like um or learning about cocktails, um, how to drink, Greg from How to Drink. I love his like cocktail videos. He's done. All kinds of things. He's done cocktails about drinks, like in games, and he's made them into like alcoholic versions. Just it's a good, good, good watch if you want to like just look up some stuff. Sorry, guys. Like I said, my my, my it's my leg. Snow country. Okay, let's see. Damn it. Oh, wow. I would actually like to see this list. If, that's, if this is a real list, I want to see it. I would love to have worked and make my own cocktail. I could probably test some things with the my current stock, but most of the stuff that I have is mostly straight. You drink straight. Oh, she's been running herself ragged. Oh, and she's been hurting her wrist from all that. I wonder how long this combat, like how long they've been prepping for this. No, oh, she's like half passing, passing out. Yeah, that's gonna be rough though. You're constantly just working on stuff. It's also good to rest, though. Yeah, definitely don't wear yourself out. Mm -hmm. Presentation is everything. Self-conscious? Subconscious. I get it. It's like when people um, record themselves working out. If you're not used to it, you, yeah. And yet not and working out to see their form, not actually like, you know, chasing clout on social media. You could technically Build muscle with it, yeah. Actually, you could probably actually build up some some forearm muscles from the shaking of the um of it. He's like, he's hot, but he doesn't, he has a horrible personality. Doesn't stop people, though. Really doesn't. Although, granted, if you have a personality of paper, of paper, fair. Oh, Suntory. 
So Hibiki Suntory is my favorite, is one of my favorites. I would probably say it's my favorite because it's my go-to and I haven't, like I said, I don't really drink much anymore. I don't even see it on it though. I need it this way. I've always thought the bartender suits with the white shirt, bow tie, and vest, always a cool look. Oh, bread. Award. Oh god, if we're gonna go dad jokes, let's go. I got you. <laughs> Is he basically going to try anything he can? You're actually going to toss the tickets. Don't litter, though. Oh, okay. Good. He's going to send that to his dad. This is actually going to be really interesting. I'm, I'm really legitimately curious as to what people are making. Show them making the cocktail, please. I would totally go to this. I wouldn't understand what they're saying half the time unless they have subtitles, but... Everyone, if you look at everyone's like either talking or studying or practicing and he's just sitting there. That's pretty cool. If this is a real thing, I'm actually probably going to like look it up. Okay, so vodka. Look, that's an ounce. Actually more of a half an ounce. I couldn't tell what juice that was. Okay. Blue. What's blue? Curacao? Is Curacao blue? I could be completely wrong. Don't quote me on that, but... I was right! It is Curacao! Holy shit! So, pear, Curacao... Oh man, I, I should have paid I should have read what she was saying. I'm I'm gonna rewatch this. I would love to try every single one of these. Smile. Stage fright. I don't like speaking in front of kids or kids, people. All right, so two ounces of blended whiskey. All right, let's see. The whiskey-based cocktail. I'm, all right, let's see. Bitch. <laughs> Yellow. What did you add? Lemon? 
It has to be some type of lemon. Drambuie. And oh, that's going to be more of a. Ooh, actually, no, that could actually work really well with the ginger. So ginger lemon. Ooh, that'd be interesting. That would have a lot of flavor. That's actually very similar to a penicillin. But they added the drambuie, so there's a lot of sweetness to it, but it will cut off a lot of the um. Ooh, that's a hard oh man, that's hard to like it, there's almost like a spiciness because of the ginger. I still hate the name Kelvin, by the way. He's not. Good technique, but you need to have the, the personality. I'm actually going to look this up to see if this is real. His head was not... His head was too wrapped up in different things. One. I couldn't drink that as pineapple. Why only one? He's offering this drink to his dad. Maybe. I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings with garnish. Sometimes the garnish is perfectly, it's fine. Mint sprigs, um, lime wheel, lemon wheel, orange, orange sun. Oh. Mm. I guess when you're making it like this, that's fine, but I'm talking about like actual, actual other stuff. Like, I, garnishes can be too extravagant, too much at times. I'm going to guess it's number two. Oh, good for her. Good for her. I thought it was going to be number two. Kawakami.
This is what I said last episode. Are they going to try her? I mean, she'd take, yeah. She's probably going to decline, though. Will she agree, though? I'd be more impressed if she did. And remember, you could, if the drink came out good, you could introduce it to your bar. Second place, runner-up. Dude, that's a dope ass bar. Dude, drowning sorrow sounds fun at times, but sometimes it can be bad. Granted, I actually loosen up when I drink, so. Ooh, I wonder if I could if I drink, I would actually lose some of the pain in my leg. Actually, that's a bad idea. He's letting her take over. Perfect. You're going to say perfect. Oh! They continue to grow. Oops. Yeah. Thank you for everything. No, okay, this was a good episode. Really quickly. Anything? After credits. True. Very different, very different spirits. Oh, they're tr they're trying to tr they're training him in a way. That's interesting. Ooh, are we finally getting some backstory? All right, next up is the North one. Really quickly. Oh, fuck shit. All right, so Japanese craft vodka. You can get that anywhere. Yeah, Lije or li Lije. Uh, don't quote me on that. Pear. I have legitimately never heard of that. Actually, I'm gonna look that up in another tab because I'm legitimately curious. Oh, I didn't realize I was clicking on the wrong screen. BJ Pear. It, it is a liquor. Oh. Okay, hold on. Looking at it really quickly. It's France, 42% proof. Not too bad. Uh, it's unaged, yeah. 
Wait, it says 13 cocktails. I swear to God, if this is in there. No, it's not. Okay. So, sorry, I'm looking at this at a separate screen. Um, But I am legitimately looking here. I'll, I'll put away the screen really quickly. These are all the, the um, spirits, the cocktails that use Liget or Lie. It's French, so who knows? Um, this, because this is the, this is the um, spirit in question. But it has... 13? 13 cocktails that use it, which, oh, I've heard of the King Louis. I've heard of it. I've, I've never looked into it, but most of these, yeah, I don't know anything about it. I've never heard of any of these. So, but because co cocktails are so unique, but it also is, a, it's one of those, you can be as creative as you want with it. And as long as it, you know, hits certain notes, you created your own cocktail. And that's not, that opens up the doors to a lot of people. But so, yeah, um, going back to the actual thing. So vodka, that that which I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I can probably buy if I wanted to. Ermi's Blue Curacao. Now, I, I don't know why I was on a blank on that. Uh, I'm naturally not super familiar with the milliliters. Um, I would probably just move it to ounces. But it's probably going to be weird, like five eighth ounce, stuff like that. Uh, but fresh lime juice, and this actually sounds very, very refreshing. This sounds like a very great summer. Summer, late spring, perfect right now, actually. Um, Suntory, I believe that's just a um, whiskey. Could be wrong. In fact, while I'm looking, let's look that up. Do, 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 do. I know I'm going way off topic, but let's see. Apologies. But I like... Looking up this stuff. Suntory Sudachi. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's a lime based liqueur. It's in Japanese, so it's going to take a second. It looks like it's a lime based liqueur. Oh, it's a, oh, it's, it's a, oh, is it it's like a yuzu syrup? Wow. Oh, duh, why would I think it's a whiskey when you already have vodka? You wouldn't want to mix those spirits. I don't think, I don't think so. Okay, so it's vodka, pear, curacao. I'm assuming this is, it's a, it says premium syrup, but I can't tell if it's a yuzu or a lime. But considering we have a lime with juice, I'm assuming this is more of, ye, of a yuzu. Although yuzu is usually, usually, you know, yellow, but it could be green. So this is what it was. Um, but yeah, that's actually really cool. Um, in fact, there's actually apparently a Reddit thread um, about it. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, um, this is a really cool episode for me because as a cocktail, as someone who used to enjoy cocktails, I would like to try every single one of these drinks. I'll look at the rest later on. I want to see if I can try to do something. I'm going to go see if I can find, because I, I can get Curacao. You can get Curacao anyway. Pear liqueur, eh, it's a little bit hard to get. Uh, but Japanese vodka, super easy to get. Um, the syrup, if it's a user syrup, I can get that. If it's a lime syrup, I can get that. Wouldn't make sense to have a lime syrup and a lime juice. I'm assuming, again, yuzu. Could be wrong, but that looked like a yuzu or a lime. It's citrusy, uh, regardless. But yeah, so this actually sounds very, very good. Now, the other one, um, let's see which was Suntory World Whiskey, which is a blended whiskey. Kamiya, no idea. Drambui, like I said, is a sweeter, um, is a sweeter uh, liqueur. I believe it's also whiskey. Um, Suntor Suntory Ginger, I'm assuming Watsunagi, because we saw that before. I'm assuming Watsunagi is just syrup. So ginger syrup, that's easy. Um, you can make that yourself. Uh, and then the lemon juice. That would actually be very good. Now, Kamiya, Kimia, um, I'm curious on what that is too. Give me a... Nope, that's just a bunch of liquor. Oh, that's just a bunch of actresses. Liquor. Okay, so it is a liqueur. Ooh, is that orange? Orange and flowery? Ooh, holy shit, that sounds delicious. Am I, o am I over 21? 20. Not 21? Oh, it's French. That's why. It's 50% alcohol, so it's 30% proof. It is a French. Ooh, it's elderflower and orange. 
Dude, that sounds delicious. That sounds, that's very aromatic. I would love to try this one. This one I would think would be the best one to try. Um, I, I remember looking a little bit more on um, Kelvin's. Uh, and that one looked good too. Uh, although, see, look at Suntory Yuzu. Okay, so I don't know. Which was basically gin, frambois. Um, I couldn't tell you what frambois twice tasted like because I've only heard of it. Uh, yuzu. It's yuzu syrup, grenadine syrup, pineapple juice couldn't have. I could probably use a fake one, um, and, uh, like our imitation pineapple juice, but it ruins, it definitely ruins things. It changes the consistency, flavor, and all that stuff. And then fresh lemon juice. That sounds good, too. Um, although from raw, I'd have to look into it. But everything else, I, I know what that tastes like. All those, I know what that tastes like. So, I would love to try every single one of these cocktails. I would just have to modify this one because, you know, allergic. But yeah. Anyways, I'm, this is going on for way too long. Um, I need to hurry up and lay down. But this was a great episode as a cocktail lover. Um, because I would love to try this. In fact, I would actually love to see um, Greg from How to Drink, which is, who is what I mentioned before, do some of these. And I think it would be really good. I, maybe maybe I'll send a little notification to him. Maybe like, hey, three of these cocktails were made. You should, some, you should try them out and see what he likes. Because I've he's made some cocktails that I've tried, or he's made cocktails, and I followed the, his recipe, and very good. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys are in the comment section below. Tomorrow I have work. I get off. Hopefully I'm going to be feeling better. I did have a long session with my, um, with my core, um, prefer, uh, oh my gosh. You know, the person who turned, popped you. I am. I, I was with him for a while. Uh, chiropractor. Words. Uh, and so hopefully tomorrow I'm going to be probably a little bit sore. From all the adjusting, but hopefully a lot still at the same time loose. We'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Kaiju number eight. Until then, see ya.